Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a mini eye tutorial and that's why I don't have anything on my eyes. I have my whole face done except for my eyes. I'm going to do a mini tutorial using one of these palettes and I'm going to do a mini review on one of these palettes. I recently bought this palette from a website called shophush.com and Hush is a site where you could find um, makeup products, basically everything in makeup. Um, they have some high-end products and most of um, uh, you know drugstore products and they also have um, this brand called Bad Habit and I believe you could only purchase Bad Habit um, in Shop Hush. They have Maybelline, they have LA Girl, they have like a lot of brands that you would see in um, drugstores. They also have like uh, the balm and all that. They have skincare products, they have hair care products, they have brushes, tools, accessories. It's a very good um, site for affordable makeup and tools and all that. Um, they also have, you know, high end, few high end products. So anyway, this, I just wanted to make sh sure that this is not a sponsored video and uh, I did buy everything here with my own money. And I just wanted to do a quick review, wanted to let you know guys to um, about the site and about especially about these palettes now these are dupes for high-end makeup or high-end eyeshadow palettes guys if you don't have money to spend like $65 $75 for Huda Beauty pop palette these two here are Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty palette dupe so these are not knockoffs, these are dupes. So basically this company makes dupes in, you know, same color and all that, but they do it with their name and their packaging. So it's not like, you know, the knockoff palettes or like a copy palettes. They come exactly, it looks like exactly the brand name and the brand everything and they'll just change a letter or something but the packaging looks the same and all that. But these are not like that. These are basically a dupe. Like they just made the high-end palette into an affordable palette and then they created their own version of it basically. I know a lot of people have different opinion on this. I personally don't mind. If I'm saving money and if I can't afford a high-end product and I really want to try it, as long as they have the same colors and the eyeshadow quality is, you know, decent or it works for me, you know, at the end of the day, I'm washing it off. If I have no allergies to it, I have said this about Makeup Revolution. I have said this about many other dupes also. I don't mind a dupe. Um, do I enjoy the high-end product? Yes, I do. I, you know, buy both. So anyway, let's get to reviewing these palettes. First of all, I am going to talk about this one. I have done a video, a vlog style video in my recent travel. I will link it somewhere here. And I did a whole swatch and a look on this. This is by Bad Habit. All three palettes are by Bad Habit. And this is called Aura. And this is basically, guys, if you look at it, this is a dupe for Prism Palace by Anastasia Beverly Hill. This is such a beautiful palette. I have tried this already and I've done many looks. I've been using this nonstop to a point that I did not try the other two palettes yet. But I love the quality of this. This might not be as good quality as the Anastasia Beverly Hill, but this is good enough quality for me to use. It blends very well. It's smooth and buttery and, the pig and it's very pigmented. So, you know, I'm able to create a look uh, without struggling. It's pigmented. It shows up. It blends very well and it lasts. It, I've used it for about eight to ten hours and it lasts and I usually don't wear makeup longer than that anyway so is this worth it yes would I recommend it yes because 
It has the quality of blendability, pigmentation, and longevity. So, you know, those are the things, and it's very smooth. And then, you know what's the good part about it? It doesn't have that much fallout. So, because of that, I, I would highly recommend it. And this is, guys, just 10 bucks, where the Anastasia Beverly Hill Prism Palette is 42. I'm gonna give you guys swatch of these, and, um, you know, as you can see, these are very pigmented and these colors are very neutral and um, you could have many different looks. It has pop-up colors in it, it has basics in it. Like I said before in my other video, this could be a great beginner's palette because you have a black, brown, orange, uh, transition colors, pop-up colors. It's a great palette. I would highly recommend it. I love this palette so far. Next is the Athena palette. Oh, by the way, the, when they when they ship them, they wrap it with the bubble wrap like crazy. The amount of bubble wrap it had was so good that none of the shadows shattered or anything like that. And this is the package, the cardboard package that it came with. So next is the Athena palette. It comes in a box like this and cardboard box and then the eyeshadow palette looks the same first of all look at this packaging although it's a dupe and this is only ten dollars or twelve dollars I don't remember but they did not skimp on packaging this packaging is beautiful they owned it they have their own packaging and it's such a beautiful palette and it's nice and thin it's not bulky and it had it's a cardboard cardboard packaging and it has that m magnet shut you know magnet closing and it comes with a nice size mirror and it has this plastic thing to protect the um, shadows and this is guys a dupe for Huda Beauty Desert Desk Palette. They're exact copies of Huda Beauty. The only problem with this I had in swatching is this orange color. It didn't really show up much. It was a little bit hard to blend. But other than that, this palette is so good. This color over here, this... Um, this shadow over here it's like a glitter basically it's yeah it feels it feels very creamy yet very like packed with glitter this is something i would use with a fix plus or a setting spray spray so it this is 18 shadows 18 shadows duping the high-end huda beauty palette with nine mattes eight shimmers and one glitter and this is such a beautiful palette so next one is the aphrodite palette by bad habit and this is a dupe for huda beauty's gold um i believe the gold plat the rose and gold palette and this also comes with a nice packaging. Look at this packaging, guys. This is so beautiful. It has nice gold and black and the gold writing. It's a nice, sleek, thin packaging. It's cardboard. And this has a magnetic closing. And it also comes with a nice mirror. By the way, all these palettes have the shadow names written on them, all three palettes. And this is the palette, guys. This is the exact dupe for the Huda Beauty palette. This has nice um, black, gold, brown, red, pinkish colors. And this is such a beautiful color, especially for tan skin. And if you are a warm shadow lover, this is a beautiful palette. This is also just $10 or $12, 10 or $12, I don't remember. But 
it has 18 shadows and from 18 shadows um, 8 is shimmer and 10 of them is matte so you have a wide variety of color and you could basically create like one whole look just with this palette because you have a nice dark black and a nice dark brown and you have plenty of transition colors and then you have shimmers and then there's like nice light creamish color and a light creamish shimmery color matte and shimmer so this is such a nice palette by itself even if you weren't looking for a dupe for Huda but this is such a nice uh, palette I am gonna give you swatches on these now and as you could see how pigmented and how beautiful these colors are okay guys so I think I am going to use the Athena palette because I have used the aura palette already many times I have a tutorial up um, in my travel video um, and I was just looking at it and I think I really want to use this Athena palette because of these purple burgundy colors I have um, prepped my eyes and I have my hair back and a um, hairband and I have tape because I'm not sure how these colors are going to um, work or blend um, in my eyelids. I have played with them with swatching and uh, I've done many, many looks with Aura and I love the quality of it and I believe the quality of the other two are similar from swatches but I haven't put them onto my lids yet so we will see. So I think I'm going to use this one and if you guys want um, a tutorial using the Aphrodite palette comment down below and I'll be happy to do a look I might be doing many looks using these palettes anyway um, I'm gonna start with this light cream color it's called purity and I'm gonna put it all over my lid Wow it's very pigmented You see that guys? It's very pigmented. Then I'm going to go in with this peach color as my transition color and it's called Valor. Wow, that is pigmented. I noticed that this palette has a little bit more uh, fallout than the Aura palette. Next, I'm going to use a little bit more of a tapered fluffy brush. I'm going to take this color, this orange color, and it's called Vlore. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to be more precise with it, and I'm going to put it right into my crease. I'm gonna go back to my first brush and blend all that out. Next, I'm gonna go into this color called Heroic. And deepen up this crease a little bit more. Blending some more with the first brush. Next, I'm going to go into this burgundy color that's called Power. I'm going to put it into my outer V and into the crease a little bit. 
Do you see that guys? It has a lot of fallout. So this palette doesn't have a black, so I am going to grab the Aphrodite palette and this does have a nice deep black. I am going to use that for my Adobe to deepen up a little bit. So guys, the black was very pigmented when I first applied, but then it seemed to blend away and it is kind of patchy if you could see. So I did not like the black shadow in the Aphrodite. I'm not sure how the rest of the palette is, but it is kind of patchy and it had a lot of fallout. Um, but all the other colors seem to be blending nicely and holding the pigmentation. So let's move on. I want to clean up my lid a little bit. I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution um, concealer in C10. I'm going to clean up my lid and then I could put a little brighter color inside. I'm gonna go in with this color called Wisdom and this is a purple color. And I'm gonna put it right at the edge. Wow, that's nice and pigmented. It's a nice shimmer. Next, I'm going to go into this color. It's more of a shimmery, um, purplish pinkish color, and it's called Epic. I'm going into Wisdom and blending the edges. I feel like I need to deepen up this corner again. I'm so disappointed in this black shade. Okay guys, so I have my eyeliner on, my mascara, and I tight lined. I tight lined with my MAC pencil in Graph Black. Eyeliner as usual, Epic Ink Liner by NYX. And I use, for mascara, I used Essence Lash Princess. I am gonna go ahead and do my lower lash now. I'm gonna grab, grab this burgundy color which is called Power, and I'm gonna smudge it all over my bottom lash. And then I'm gonna go into this deep brown color, which is called Clover, and I'm gonna bring it closer to the lash line. Then I'm going to grab that black from the Aphrodite palette and line my bottom lash. Go in with my mascara. 
So I am going to go into the Aura palette and I'm going to grab this color of uh, Phenomena and brighten my inner corner. And I'm going to put some on my brow bone also. Just a thought guys, the black shade in here, in the um, Aura palette is so much better and pigmented and blends so much better than the one in the Aphrodite palette. So if you have to use a good one, um, Immort Immortal from the Aura palette is much better. I didn't like the black in the Aphrodite palette. I also wanted to mention because I get a lot of questions what I have on my lip. I have the Wet n Wild Give Me Mocha on my lips with the MAC Chestnut Pencil. So guys, this is the finished look. As far as the Athena palette, I did find it to be a lot more um, fallout. It has a lot more fallout than the Aura palette. Aura palette, I was able to do my eyes after my makeup. I would suggest for the Athena and the Aphrodite palette, I would suggest to do your eyes first. Um, I only used black one from the Aphrodite and I didn't like it as much because it blended away it was pigmented initially but it blended away very quickly and it had a lot more fallout so Aphrodite palette had more fallout than the Athena and both the both Aphrodite and Athena has more fallout than the uh, AO, AO aura palette um, my thoughts these colors are beautiful they did blend very well it doesn't take much effort to blend but it can easily blend away if you work too hard on it um, I would say do your eyes first before you would do your face makeup because I did my face makeup first and I had to clean up a lot so you could see it's you know it, my face makeup is a little bit messed up but overall for 10 bucks guys you can't go wrong I mean it takes a little bit more work for these two palettes this palette I would do more um, tutorials on this this is a beautiful palette I absolutely love it if you had to pick between all three quality wise I would say get the aura palette but these do have beautiful colors and they are dupes of high-end $70 palette from Huda so you know if if you want to spend the $70, go ahead and spend it. And that is a good quality that you will get. And if you don't want to, you want to like save like 60 bucks, I would say go for this and just put a little bit more work on it. Well, I hope you guys like this um, style of video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't so you won't miss out on my future videos. Have a great day. God bless.